everyone. I am back to share my DIY scrapbooking kit number four. Um, I put this kit together uh, to go with some old photos of my husband when he was a kid and his parents and his grandparents and a few other relatives. Um, so since they're pretty old photos, um, my husband thought it would be a good idea to use kind of browns, um, brown colors and uh, kind of the colors they used back then. Um, uh, so we, I picked four paper pads, 12 by 12 paper pads, and I took it to him so he could pick what he liked. And he picked two paper pads that he liked every paper in it. So, um, and then he picked a few pages out of the other two paper pads. Because uh, he didn't like all of the patterns um, in them. So the ones he did like, I took one of each, pa uh, one of each paper. Um, so... I'm going to start off with sharing the paper first. So this is one of the 12 by 12 paper pads that he liked. It's called the Old World Stack by DCWV. It looks like this. And I've had this for a very long time. Um, so I'm just going to flip through this. This one's single-sided so he liked all of these they're pretty much not they're pretty much um, a lot of the same patterns just in different colors uh, but they're very old and distressed looking so um, he thought these colors were uh, nice uh, for the um, the photos I was doing so that's the first paper pad. The next paper pad is from Momenta and it's called Songbird. It's this one. And again, this one has uh, mainly floral patterns with a few birds here and there. And it looks very old and distressed. And this is double sided. So, so that is pretty much. See, there's the back. So, you'll get some, or I'll get some kind of solid without any floral on it on one side and then floral on the other side. Um, there are a few of them that do have floral on both sides, but. Like this one has. Uh, just distressed brown shades on it. So, uh, this is not. There you go. Let's see both sides. So, again, these colors go really nice for. Um, what was it? early seven or late seventies, early eighties around there. And then those were the two paper pads that I kept uh as a whole paper pad. Now these are the sheets that came from the two paper pads that we just took a few out of. Um these first ones are from the natural luxury paper pad from DCWV and here's the first one and all the foiling you're gonna see is copper foiling so that is on these papers here's this one and um, all of this is like a like the white parts or it looks white all of that is cream like that's also cream it's not really like a true white 
so there's this one there's these two that look the same but once you put them together you can see that this is a cream with a gray and then this one's a tan uh, with a gray that darker color it looks black on camera but it's a uh, dark gray you can tell it's gray in person and there's this one and this one and there's this cut apart one so there's some more embellishments I could use and there's this chevron so this next few um, sheets are from the natural stack from uh, Craftsmith. So here's this one, and again, it's all copper. The foiling part is copper. Here's this one. And this one. Here's this chevron one. I'll put it up closer so you can see. There's that one. And this one. So those are it for those. And then the album that I'm using to put all these pictures in came with its own uh, papers and um, embellishments. The papers are very thin but it's okay because they're like copy paper thin but um, I'm going to use them for layering so um, it, that's not going to be an issue. Uh, when I I didn't really think of these of the little packet that came with the album until I had already picked all the other papers uh, so I was nicely surprised by the embellishments because they are also um, or they also have copper uh, foiling on them so I didn't plan that that just kinda happened <laughs> um, so it came with 12 by 12 papers and I'll try to show those to you quickly like I said, they're really, really thin. And they match really nicely with um, what my husband and I had already picked out for the album. So that's cool. These are very thin papers. There's no way you could actually use it to put a whole like layout on it because they're so flimsy, but um, they're great for layering. So that's what I'm going to use them for. There you go. Those birdies were upside down. I think this might go like that, or like this, I don't know, <laughs> but, and the album is also this blue, and this blue with the brown is the color of the album, so the album matches the papers really well too, so there's all the papers that, the 12 by 12 that came in the little kit, and these are the stickers. And some borders that I could cut out. And then some little tags or journaling spots that I could cut out. So that's what came in the little kit. 
And then um, I added these uh, adhesive borders that I bought at Michael's a few days ago. I think it was a few days ago. Last week, I think. That's what they look like. So I'm going to use those. And these alphas, the black and white alphabets from Tuesday morning. I also recently picked these up. These are little yellow bicycle canvas stickers. And they look kind of old. Like old fashioned style. Um, is what the print looks like to me. Um, so I'm putting those in there. And then these uh, transparency overlays in brown. So I thought I would use a few of those. And these copper alphabets and numbers. Um, there's also these snap alphabets that I might use um, depending on how the layout is going. So that's my alphabets. And then a few stamp sets I picked out here, or stamps. Um, some background stamps. I got this script, this wood grain, and this heart one. And um, um, my husband's father was in the Marines, so I thought I would use this nautical theme stamp set, like the little waves or the little anchor on it. Um, the little, uh, what's that called? The little compass thing? I don't know. So that, and this um, Pebbles stamp set, it's little banners that have... Um, the family things on them, like uh, family, cousin, son, daughter, grand grandpa, grandma, brother, sister, dad, and mom on there. So I got that one, and then um, there's some of these patterns on the papers, so I might use these... Um, stamps here. Might use that one. So I pulled this book, this uh, binder out with that has some of my stamps in there. And I'm also going to try to use the um, these doilies, doily stamps. These two. And I believe this was an old uh, Recollections Valentine's Day stamp set from a few years back. So those are the stamps that I picked out to use in this album. And the embellishments also. Uh, I will be using washi tape, um, probably some wood veneers and... veneers and sprays but I noticed that when I put specific colors or patterns of washi tape or um, sprays in the kit um, they end up not matching the layouts so I end up pulling out different washi tapes and not using the ones I originally picked um, because they don't match very well and give the look that I want so I'm not going to pick those until I'm actually working on the albums I'm sorry I have to yawn 
so I'm going to hold off on that and the wood veneers are probably just going to be um, some of the same ones that I've used before like the stars, the hearts, the cameras, um, those kind of wood veneers are probably the ones that I will be using, maybe some frames. Um, yeah, so that is everything that I'll be using for this album, so I'm going to uh, get to work on some layouts. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for commenting, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.